Hello and welcome to Pocket Gamer's YouTube channel. I'm John Jordan and the game we're playing today is Spellbinders. So Spellbinders is a new game from Kilu, which is the uh, Danish developer uh, most famous for co-developing Subway Surfers, so a very famous endless runner. As you can see this game is a little bit different. Um, so this is my Titan, so we look at the bottom of the screen here. There are various Titans in this game. It's Theo, um, Theos, I should say, sorry. So we have some other ones here who we can um, Purchase. Obviously, this is a free-to-play mobile game, so it has an in-game currency. You can see I'm going to need to do a lot more work. <laughs> I've only got three of these rune coins, um, so at the moment I'm stuck with uh, Theos. And actually, Theos has different forms. Um, again, these cost currency, which I do not have. Anyway, it does not matter. Um, so he is my my kind of hero character. Um, Let's go in and play a game. So the game is um, will remind you of another game, I expect. So it's a, um, a PvP game. So we see the game starting at the bottom. Um, I can um, spend some of my currency and select one of these kind of special units, which I get to use once in the game. So the game is a lane-based defense game. You have a base and you have three lanes of which you can put troops into. Your enemies doing the same thing. So you can see here I'm fighting Roy, who is Israeli by the look of it. So here we go. So. There's my mana, so mana is the resource of the game, and these are my units, so I just drop my units onto a line, you can see he's doing the same thing here, he's got a boulder rolled down there, um, I've just fired some bolts back, um, I like my legion, not really that one, um, so I've put the scouts, so the scouts are a little fast, and you see the other interesting thing about this game is, um, you have these control points, so there's three cannons, and the cannons are firing at the base, so that's um, something that's a little bit different than at least to um, Clash Royale which is otherwise what this game looks like so I'm going to play my Legion, so my Legion this is these three, they're quite weak kind of characters but it um, drops them down um, so you can see we're kind of fighting over these um, checkpoints which are firing uh, uh, firing onto the base so uh, I'm not doing terribly well at the moment um, uh, probably because I'm <laughs> trying to talk at the same time, so put a bomb on this one, so the bombers will just kind of run into the enemy and then bomb them. Yeah, I'll just put a bit of heat on that one at the top, so you can see all the cannons not, two cannons are firing at my base, so that's not very really good. Uh, I'll just put a bomb on there, I can put a drop of mana crystal and quickly increase my mana. Um, put a small unit on here, um, so you can see it's, I've also got this Wraith Storm, so that would, um, Get my Titan to do something. Let's use that. So he's gonna fire out some, hit some of the enemy. Um, so let's try and capture that one up there. So you can see it's a very dynamic system. It's um, kind of as these games tend to do. This, this is PvP. Um, so it's kind of the battle kind of swings around. Um, it's a bit different. It's not quite the same as Clash Royale in the sense of you don't really have a deck. Um, it's kind of a random, random selection of um, basically you have all, the, all the units that you have available. So it's just randomly select. You don't pick, really pick a deck out in the same way I think this one. Um, that, that you would do with it in a Clash Royale. I think I'm going to lose. Um, put the monitor down there. Um, yeah, it's all getting a bit, all getting a bit tricky. Um, let's get the monitor to alive. Um, uh, some rage. Um, and there. Only two left. Yeah, I'm dead. So, um, so we can see we can see what's going on here. Oh, I can so claim. I can go and claim that um, claim that cannon. Will that stave me off? No, probably not. Oh, I can scatter the enemy. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit too late. I can hex that guy, make him into a little pumpkin. <laughs> um, put the wizard there. Um, Blizzard is not gonna, it's not gonna, no, lost. Okay, so um, we can see it's kind of, in, in a sense, it's interesting. I think it's a bit more dynamic of a game than um, Clash Royale. Uh, obviously, the kind of wider point is, is this game a copy of Clash Royale? Um, obviously not. You know, these games are in development for um, kind of years, or well, not quite years, but certainly kind of months and a year. 
Um, so I think it's, we would say the case is kind of great minds thinking alike that people are thinking about MOBAs, kind of this kind of like kind of a um, battle arena type ge type games that have been very popular on PC and then how can we bring those to mobile and there's I mean the games are doing that like Vainglory which are effectively just um, slightly cut down versions of what the PC experience is. Games like Clash Royale and Spellbinders are much more radically reinventing this kind of like head on head battle. Um, obviously MOBAs are team team games that this is not this is just a PvP but so so the environment is condensed down considerably. Um it's something like Spellbinders just has a slightly different element where you have those cannons, those control points, which um, I, I guess um, are more important to kind of sway the battle. Because if you have um, there's so there's three of them, um, and if you control all three of them, you kind of get an extra boost as well. So I lost, but I still get a few coins. Um, so this is like a, just the leaderboard I'm playing on. Maybe I've been dropped into. Um, so you can kind of just get an idea about kind of what the game is. So it's playing into um, a lot of the kind of current themes which is PvP which is very quick session times um, so we can see here these are the kind of units so as you see I was saying these are all the units that are available to me it's not I'm not unlocking anything else I'm not p picking a smaller number of them for my decks same thing with the spells um, as I level up I will unlock some more I think but um, at the moment I'm not you know, Clash Royale has that extra thing that you unlock all these units and then you can only pick eight of them so that has this kind of different dynamic I suppose and it's obviously that's a card based game this isn't a, a card um, a card based game at all I mean, you don't have that kind of um, kind of leveling up process or, or, or um, um, just the, I guess and it's something that, that Kilo kind of understand a bit oh not the super tone but Kilo is very accessible with with um, Subway Surfers and, and their games are I think graphically this is really nice and it probably doesn't necessarily have the same depth as a Clash Royale. I don't think this could be an eSport in the same way, probably. Um, but it's but but I think it just uh, certainly maybe you know, maybe now because I play Clash Royale um, quite a bit and, and and kind of maybe get a little bit bored of it now. Um, and this is maybe kind of scratching that itch a little bit for me. So anyway, it's um, out. Uh, it's just out this week. So obviously free to play game on Android and iOS. So definitely worth checking out if you kind of like that. If you like Clash Royale and wanna maybe have a have a kind of a similar game in a similar kind of vein to to, to try out, um, I would I would recommend this. Obviously, it's got um, some kind of uh, currency systems in there as well. So you can have these kind of um, boosters. So you can boost your for five games. You boost your points, experience, um, so some mana, um, power. So, but pretty light monetization. I mean even um, I mean, the usual currency you can spend up to hundred dollars in there. Um, not, probably not the game where people will be spending a lot of um, hundreds of dollars, really. Um, but that's that spell bundles. Um So uh, yeah, check it out and don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, we play a lot of mobile free-to-play games, so that's the kind of thing that you're interested in. Um, if you subscribe, um, then you won't miss any that we're, uh, that we're pointing out, and hopefully you'll find something that you like and will enjoy to play. So thanks for. <laughs>